Have you ever gotten one of those birthday cards with a monkey dressed in human clothing? Possibly smoking a cigarette, drinking a beer, or pointing out that you strongly resemble his or her species? Well, other than that annoying feces throwing habit, of course you haven't, because those aren't monkeys, those are chimpanzees. Monkeys have tails and colorful hindquarters, which apparently makes them attractive to pop stars who like to take them to Germany and leave them there to drink beer and smoke cigarettes, like chimps. Or that monkey in Hangover 2, that monkey was so cute. Okay, now I see why people go ape over monkeys. So even if you've never gotten a chimpanzee birthday card, you poor thing, it's easy to see the difference between a chimp and a monkey. Unless it's a sea monkey. See, sea monkeys aren't monkeys at all. And they're hard to see. See? You don't see? Well, maybe you need some x-ray specs. X-ray specs are glasses made by inventor Harold von Braunhut that allow the user to see through clothing and even through skin. They pretty much put the entire x-ray machine out of business. You remember that, don't you? Of course not. You saw right through this, didn't you? X-ray specs created an optical illusion by diffracting light through a pinhole, causing the wearer to see two images that were slightly offset, so it looked like they were seen through skin or clothing. What kind of pervert would want to buy something like that anyway? Millions of them, apparently. What Harold von Braunhut actually invented was a way to get gullible young boys, and teens and adults and dirty old men, to buy useless glasses by placing millions of ads in the back pages of comic books, advertising their amazing but completely false properties. Everyone has seen them. They're right next to the ads for sea monkeys. You see, sea monkeys are another product advertised under false pretenses that were invented by, you guessed it, Harold von Braunhut. If you're a monkey or a chimp, now would be a good time to throw some feces at a picture of Harold, or a comic book. Sea monkeys aren't monkeys, or chimps, or some other oddly bent fork in the simian tree. They're brine shrimp, which are not shrimp or prawns or anything that should be fried and covered with cocktail sauce, which isn't a cocktail. Wait, where was I? Oh yeah, brine shrimp. These are tiny crustaceans that undergo cryptobiosis, which means that when they dry out, they don't die, but instead go into a state of lifelessness, where they can exist for years until they are brought back to life by becoming rehydrated. Kind of like Michael Phelps at the Summer Olympics. What Harold von Braunhut invented was the name Sea Monkeys, and a massive comic book advertising campaign that showed pictures of monkey-like creatures living underwater, singing and dancing and probably having sex. So you can figure out who Harold's target market was, right? Gullible, perverted, comic book reading x-ray specs buyers who don't have girlfriends who are forced to watch a packet of dried fish turn into a porn-filled aquarium of copulating monkeys. So in other words, there are no sea monkeys to see. See? They've popped up on South Park and The Simpsons. They've been taken into space. They've been flushed down more toilets than Snoop Lion's stash. He's not a lion, you know, or a dog. And he probably doesn't want you snooping around on him having sex underwater unless he can find a way to make money off of it. Harold? From New York City, I'm Kegan, and this is Rockaboo.